Hockey is in the blood of Riley Stillman. His grandfather, Bud Stefanski, is a scout for the Leafs. His father, Corey, is a two-time Stanley Cup champion. And in the upcoming hockey season, Riley will be bringing that hockey tradition to Coburg as last week he signed with the Cougars. Last week I signed in Coburg. I think playing, playing next year in Coburg will be the, the right stepping stone needed to get to the next level. While Riley was a fourth-round OHL draft pick to the Oshawa Generals, he's opting to play his 16-year-old season in the OJHL as he feels he'll get a chance to better develop with the Cougars. Playing where you're going to play is an important role. Playing Coburg, if I can play, I get to play every game uh, for sure. Whether how much I'm playing doesn't matter, but I'm, it's the right stepping stone. It's a place where I'm going to play all the time. For Riley, you know, we see huge, huge upside. He's obviously extremely skilled and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work with him on his defensive game this year and uh, he'll, he'll get an opportunity to, to play on our power play as a 16-year-old, which is extremely rare in our league. Acquiring a player like Riley Stillman was an impressive pickup for Cougars general manager Brent Tully, who is also excited about acquiring another good defenseman in Sam Dunn from Rice Lake. We were uh, very fortunate, very surprised at the end of the day that we were able to obtain both Sam and Riley, two high-end uh, prospects uh, that went very high in the OHL draft this past year. and uh, you know. Uh, we never thought that uh, we would probably have a chance at uh, either one of them, let alone both, so we're very excited. While many might think that going to the OHL would have been the smart move, in fact, Stillman is making a more intelligent move by going to the OJHL as he maintains his NCAA eligibility and opens up the possibility of signing with an American university or college. I don't know, I'm going to play, play next year in Coburg and then, or start the year in Coburg in August 17th, I think it is, and then just see how things go from there. 